What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today, we are reacting to how a realist hero rebuilt the kingdom. And if you like anime reactions, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you would like to support the channel, we got Patreon and channel membership. Link to those are below. We are reacting to how a realist hero rebuilt the kingdom, episode 4. Guys, we're at episode four already, and we so far done some world building. We got the different races and types of people from all over the kingdom or nation, however you want to call it. Let me know what you want to call it. You want to call it a kingdom or a nation? And at the last episode, a beastman. She was a little girl. She's so cute looking. She has like cute ears uh she was really shy and she told our protagonist a something like she just whispered it in his ear and he had like a oh, what look and we're gonna find out what it is Monsters are neither people or animals. They're considered a separate class of creature. Such creatures fall into both the people and animal categories. Humans, elves, beastmen, and dragon newts. Mankind falls onto your... <laughs> Dragons are known as god beasts. Oh, dude, there's like different categories and labels for different monsters, creatures. Slime are treated as animals. Interesting. Oh, ho, ho, interesting. So from the intro of this episode, I'm assuming monsters are going to attack. <laughs> the forefinger twitches. I wonder why he asked if she's told anybody else. Oh, he has to keep calm. Wow, I guess he doesn't want to uh, worry everybody because this is being broadcast, right? I bet she's like kind of confused. <laughs> she's like, didn't I just give him big news? Oh, so it's a good thing that she was shy and whispered it in his ear. Or do you think she knew it was a really sensitive thing to talk about? She used her power to speak to a demon? Oh, 
Oh, so they're um they're actually monsters with intelligence. Barbarians, those who speak in incomprehensible tongues. Interesting. I can't bear watching someone with the same scent get killed. Run away now. Oh. Oh, this is when be when she's back home in the north. Negotiating. I didn't consider that there is no communication. This is interesting. This this can change a lot of stuff. I wonder if she's an empath too. She can sense Lucia's disposition. Oh, no wonder it was a sensitive topic. It's a good thing she just whispered it in his ear. Like, how far do you think we'll have to be in the series to actually talk to the demons? <laughs> I mean, we, we already got to do stuff in our kingdom, nation. I think we need to solve all the issues in this area, then talk to the demons. One step at a time. Keep our nation good. Have a great foundation. So if anything hits us, we can get right back up. Then we can try the harder stuff. So if we get hit, we can get back up. <laughs> She's shy. Consort? Oh my gosh, 10 years old is the allowable age. Yeah, why can't the previous king and queen adopt her?
Does she have a mom? There you go! Yeah, they just jump to conclusions. I like her loyalty. She speaks up when needed. What kind of position though? The horse is to draw his carriage? She's like, I guess I can do that. Sure. Demon Lurs, you mean, is there where demons suddenly, or monsters suddenly appeared. I think something happened in that area. Like, monsters started to evolve. Oh, he's doing his poltergeist thing. Better for him to sleep in the States of the Fair office? Yeah, he didn't answer why he's in that room. Oh, cute! <laughs> he said that oh, look <laughs> that made us like yes please progress in this relationship he grabbed her hand boy you are giving her mixed signals you are leading her on Ah, uh, to all his places. Oh, well, a lot more than it looks. Nothing gets spoiled. Less prone to spoil. Cool. Oh, this is where you hear gear set. <laughs> It's cool that they use something that's normally in a hero gear set, but they're using it for something else. Like, there's still that isekai RPG feel, but everything that you normally see in, like, an RPG is being used for something else. The King's Brilliant Lunch? Brilunch? Huh, they're like, uh, uh, what are those shows called where they have, like, it's sort of like a broadcast, entertainment broadcast, information such. They do this a lot in Asia, right? We don't have this in the U.S. At least I don't think so, besides the news. But the news is totally different. Programs. I guess you call it programs. Huh. 
<laughs> I like how he corrects it, saying, I am acting king. Aww. He's apologizing for the food shortage. That's nice. This broadcast is designed to help you until the food shortage is solved. Oh, by introducing you food they're not accustomed to. Ew, you're going to do like a cooking channel. Octopus! Are they near the sea, though? Like, wouldn't they need to be able to transport that? Oh, but this could be for the people who live near the sea. It doesn't have to go right by the kingdom because they're trying to solve the food Shortage for all over the kingdom. Yes, 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 yes. That makes sense. Yeah, their reaction. Ooh. I didn't know you had to boil it. Then cut it. Then cook it, cook it. I'm so used to just cooking it raw, like straight from being raw. What are you going to call it? It's not tempura, right? What do you call it? What do you call it? Isn't she from the coast? Oh, look, 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 look. They're going to try and make it. Oh, cute. What is that? Bamboo shoots? Oh, he's doing that! He's doing that! What? <laughs> Not very comfortable to have your hand like this. Kind of hurts my wrist, to be quite honest. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> I thought you had to eat everything to survive in the forest. Mash water? Bean mash water. <gasps> Soy sauce! Oh! 
Your miso. Miso. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Oh. Why did he tear? Why is he crying? Oh, it's reminding him of home. I was not expecting that. Now, Summer, you just need to find rice. You got your seafood. You got your fermented beans to make miso soup and soy sauce. We got to find some rice now. They're like wary now. And that was my reaction to how a realist hero rebuilt the kingdom episode 4. Was that a cliffhanger necessary? I mean, it was just food. Is this food going to lead into the next episode? What is it going to be? I have no idea. I'm like kind of perplexed. Like in the last episode when Tomoe like whispered in Soma's ear, I'm like, okay, it could be this, that, la 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 la. You know, I had theories and my theories were totally wrong. I thought it was an invasion, but it's more like she was just able to talk to a demon, which is really mind blowing because apparently they couldn't communicate. Yeah, this whole time they couldn't communicate. So they don't know why they took over the north. They don't know why they're fighting each other. They just know invaders, you know? So this is interesting. A lot of things that are happening are things I'm not expecting, which is making me really like this show. Awesome. What did you guys think about this episode? And what did you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a Discord. Link is in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina. Link is in the description. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things we're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is in the description. We're available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lihua, and this is the Superfina channel reacting to how a realist hero rebuilt the kingdom episode 4. Hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Laters! Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there, and I will see you on the next video. This bump.